Today is the 2013 uh, Army and Air Force commissioning ceremony. We're going to commission uh, the Army and Air Force cadets uh, into the Army and Air Force as second lieutenants. And they're going into a myriad of career fields. We've got several that are going on to pilot training. We've got one in particular who's going to be a remotely piloted aircraft pilot. So the drones that you see on TV, those kind of aircraft. We have a few that are going into space operations, so they're going to be launching satellites into space, monitoring what they do, interfacing with communication systems that talk to Air Force, Army, Navy assets on the ground and at sea. And we've even got one going into developmental engineering, developing the next generation of weapon systems for the Air Force and for the military in general. So a wide array of career fields. You're entering a profession that has the trust and the admiration of the American people. After a decade at war, we are recommitted to defining ourselves in terms of competence, character, and commitment. Remember those words, competence, character, and commitment. You'll hear them often. One of the things that we've done in this past academic year is to undertake a strategic planning exercise. We know that we uh, produce leaders on this campus. And so one of our objectives coming out of that strategic planning exercise is to intentionally, more intentionally, develop leaders. And we expect that the cadets of the ROTC units uh, will, in fact, be, play an even stronger role within our community. Anytime a young person uh, steps up and volunteers to serve their country, um, that's impressive. And, and to see them become second lieutenants year after year after year, and to continue to have a large number of uh, cadet or, or students from the North Country take that, take that obligation. It's, it's pretty impressive.